Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and we're back in motion again. Let's see what we can do with it this time. First of all, let's go to our file browser and we're going to get our Commander Z and we're going to bring him into our project, bring him and drag him and drop him in there. And we're going to animate him. And we've got him starting at the beginning there and we're going to him fly off into the distance. We're going to have him start here and we're going to have him end him over the top there. So actually we're going to move him to the beginning of the animation first. Okay, so there we are at the beginning of the animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the rotation of him. Put a keyframe in there. Put a keyframe in for the scale. And then we're going to go to the end. This is where we want him to be at the end. At the top there like that. And we want the scale to be smaller. In fact, the scale there is 1%. And I want the rotation to be... Uh, minus 69. I'll have the rotation around about there. Let's press play and see what happens. So there's our rotation happening and it all happens right at the top there. Okay so let's bring him down to our starting point. So what I want to do now is I want to add a behavior. So go to the library. I'm going to add a motion path. So we can add motion path to commander Z there. Where is our motion path? There's our motion path. Look. There's that end point and we're going to grab that and take it and put it up there where we want it to finish. Okay, so this is the end point at the top here. And I want to have a bit of a curve happening there. I don't want it to be a straight line. So I've just double tapped on that and now I'm going to change the curve by moving that. I could change it more by altering these bezier points. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press play. And we'll see him go off and he's going to point off in the direction that he's going to go. He's getting smaller as he's going because he's going off up into the distance. And there we have a nice little animation of Commander Z flying off into the distance. And it was easily done using behaviours of the motion path and a little bit of keyframing of the scale of him and of the rotation of him. So there you go, that's how to do some keyframing with an object that you bring in from your library and using a behavior which is the motion path. Okay, so what else could we do with this? We could go back to our file browser again and go to our library and we'll go to our content and we could have clouds. Well, we'll try it and see what happens. Let's drag it and drop it into this here. We'll go into uh, that there. He's going to fly off into the clouds, but uh, let's make it so that it fits the uh, thing a bit better. We'll put that over there. Extend this so that it fits the space better. Let's grab group one and move that over the top. There we go. Now I've got it. He's flying off into the distance. Into the clouds. Speed. There you are. That's changed that, hasn't it? Press play. There he is, flying off into the distance. How good is that then? I'll tell you what we should do with this as well is maybe the opacity should change as he flies away as well. So let's move him back to the start there. We'll select Commander Z there. And we're going to change the opacity. Let's put a uh, keyframe in there. Go to the end of our thing up there and we'll change the opacity down to a little bit less shouldn't be so bright as it gets further away because of atmospheric perspective and we'll press play again there he is going off into the distance there and we've got a bit of atmospheric perspective there as we get further away we can't see him quite so well now actually don't want to have these clouds in there so let's get rid of those clouds I'd like to have it with a, a completely blank background what else can we do with our Commander Z? So this time he's flying off into the stars. Lovely. We've got our star travel there. We've, um, I think it's looking a bit bright, our star travel. Let's change the, um, change the birth rate on that there. You can change the life on it as well. Making it, that makes it smaller, that makes it bigger. Change the scale too. The scale needs to be smallest. Emission range, let's change that so it happens. Let's do a share on this here. We'll share it to export to movie. Current settings, open with none. 
video only. Click on next. Off it goes fairly quickly. It doesn't take long because it's a fairly short video. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut and let's uh, import a file. Let's click on import. It's called untitled and I'll press Q. And it puts it in over the top of what we have there already. And once it has rendered, we'll click on play. Some questions and we're going to have another look at what we can do with text in motion. So let's start off by going to a motion project in here. So there we go, we've got, we've got our star field and we've got our Commander Z in our movie now. And I think I'd like to make it uh, run a bit faster there. So I can go over this here and I can tell it that I want it to be faster by two times, four times. Now let's press play. On Mac 20 questions and we're going to have another look at what we can do with text in motion. And I think what we need as well is at the end of it we need a cross dissolve as well. If I would have a cross dissolve at the beginning and at the end of it. Let's change the length of that uh, fade in the beginning. So there you go, we've got Commander Z in our Final Cut project there. He's got a star field behind him and he's looking totally splendid. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch.